suburbs of Chicago and I am going to uh, walk you through a recipe. We are celebrating not only National Soup Month but it is also National Slow Cooker Month. So what a perfect way to highlight both of those. We are going to make a soup in a slow cooker. Um, this is going to be easy. It's very approachable. Uh, we're going to highlight some of our seasonings. Uh, home cooking and family in-home meals have really skyrocketed over the last year. So this is a perfect way to start something in the morning. It's gonna cook all day and then your family is gonna be able to sit around to a really delicious, comforting meal in the evening. And comfort cooking has also, um, it's gonna be a trend this year and I think people are gonna really embrace it. So this is gonna be a perfect recipe for that. Um, we're going to make a chicken and wild rice soup. Um, over the last decade, Newlyweds has seen an increase of low sodium requests from a lot of our customers. So now it's just our scientists and uh, sales when they're getting requests, it is just another um, criteria that we talk about and that we ask just right off the bat, do you have any sodium restrictions. Uh, so we are going to use a low sodium seasoning and then uh, to boost our seasoning we are going to add a smoked fennel and red pepper seasoning. So if you think that not a lot of salt doesn't give you a lot of flavor that is incorrect because there are other ways that we can increase flavor in any of the cooking that we do uh, without adding salt. We're just going to add some other exciting ingredients. Alrighty, so uh, we have all of our ingredients here and um, we're going to just add them all into the crock pot. I have about a pound and a half of chicken. And then on top of that, I am going to add a low sodium all purpose seasoning right on top. And then this is the smoked fennel and red pepper seasoning that is going to help boost our flavor. And then um, I do have about a cup and a half of onions that we're going to add. And I like more, this is only about a cup of carrots. I actually like a little bit more, so I might add some more a little later. And then uh, we have about a cup and a half of celery. On top of that, we are going to add in eight cups of chicken broth, just right on top, all the way in. And then this guy is going to get covered and we are going to put him on high and he's going to cook for about four to six hours on high. Um, when the chicken is cooked through, we are going to pull the chicken out and um, we're going to make this chicken and wild rice soup. We're going to thicken it up uh, towards the end with just a little bit of flour and then I'm going to put in pre-cooked wild rice just because I don't want this wild rice to absorb any of that delicious broth. So. Come back in a little bit and we'll finish the soup off. Hey everybody, so we are back and the chicken soup has been cooking in the slow cooker for about six hours. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the chicken and shred it. We are going to remove about a cup of the liquid and place it in a bowl. We're gonna thicken that up with about two tablespoons of flour. And um, we also have the wild rice that I pre-cooked in a pot. Um, after all that is done, we are gonna add all of these ingredients back into the slow cooker and we are gonna let flour do its magic and it's going to thicken the soup up to a really nice, delicious, rich consistency. So let's get going. <music> to cook for about another 30 to 45 minutes and it has a really great consistency with just that little bit of flour that we added 
Um, it's not quite as thick as a stew, but it is definitely has a little bit more body than just a brothy chicken soup. Um, so I pulled some out here. I'm gonna give it a little taste, see what we've done. And I think it's awesome. Um, I think cooking with a low sodium seasoning is fantastic. It's a great way to keep your, your dish healthy. And by adding that fennel and red pepper seasoning, we boosted the savory notes. So this is a really awesome combination. I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. So I just wanna say thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your account manager and I look forward to next month. See you guys.